Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today we have an exciting video for you on how to integrate the OpenAI functionality into Zoho CRM. By the end of this video, you will have the powerful AI capabilities of ChatGPT4 right within your Zoho CRM. To start with, head over to openai.com forward slash waitlist forward slash GPT hyphen four hyphen API and sign up for the waitlist. Once you receive the email, sign up for an account, and then you'll generate a API key. Your API key will be shown here. It'll only be shown once, so make sure you keep a copy. Step two is to create a custom function in Zoho CRM. So we'll go over to Zoho CRM and click settings. In here, we'll click functions under developer space, and then we'll click new function. We'll just call this function OpenAI integration. And under category, select standalone. Step three is to write the Deluge script to connect to the OpenAI API. Don't worry, I'll guide you through it step by step. In the code editor, paste the following Deluge script. Now I'll walk you through this code. Firstly, make sure you put your OpenAI API key in here. Okay, you'll get that from this page of OpenAI once you have been approved for the waitlist. Then, Keep everything exactly the same here, but you'll see that I'm using the description field on my lead to provide my input. And I'm also using my description feed here to place my input. Now, what you might want to do is you might want to have a separate field on your lead or any module for that matter, be the input. And then you might want to have a different field be the output. So you record what was input, and then in a separate field, you record what the output is. Because this is just a video showing you guys the basics, I'm just using the same field. Another thing, you might want to change the system content. So you see, I'm saying here, you are ChatGPT4, a large language model. That's the only input I'm giving it. But you could say here, you are assessing the input from a client, the important details to me are the days of the week this client wishes to work with me. This information will be in their message. I need you to pull that information out for me and give it back to me in a list with days of the week and dates, for example. And then you would write that all in here under content. This is basically the instructions to the AI telling it what you want. And then you have the user content, which is here where we're putting the prompt. And for the prompt, we're just appending this to the beginning of what is in our description field. And we're just saying an AI generated response to the following input. And then we're saying whatever's in the description field. Okay. Now, the last thing we need to do to make this work is we need to copy lead ID here. And we need to go edit arguments, paste in lead ID, and say that that's an integer. And now we're ready to go. So I'm going to grab a lead ID from a different window. And I'm also going to put a description in on this lead. And here I'm going to say, what is Zoho CRM? Okay. So now I'm going to say, save and execute. And I'm going to put in my lead ID. And now it's thinking, it's thinking. It can sometimes take a while. There we go. So you'll see here that my prompt is an AI generated response to the following input. What is Zoho CRM? And you can see that my lead has been successfully updated. So now if I bring my lead across and I refresh my lead and I scroll down to the description, here I can see the response is Zoho CRM is a cloud-based customer relationship management CRM software developed by Zoho Corporation, blah, 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 blah. And if you go to the timeline, you can see here that the description was updated. This is from when I was doing some testing earlier. Because it's the description field, that doesn't actually show what the prior input was and what the new input was. But you can do so much with that. Now, you might be thinking, well, how do I use this for my business? Like, what can I do with this? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to my test system. And I'm going to create a new module. And this module, I'm just going to call, let's see, let's call it OpenAI. That'll help. OpenAI Conversations. And then 
open a conversation for individual. And in here, let's have a instructions or AI instructions. A, and let's make that a big field. So 32,000 characters. And then let's have a AI or let's put input. And also 32,000 characters. And an output. And also 32,000 characters. All right. Let's just pop these in a new section. AI conversation. Instructions. Input. And output. Perfect. All right. So let's save and close that. And give that access to everybody. And now let's go to, let's see here. Let's keep this as a standalone function. So we'll go new function. This is my other system. So I'm going to have to just copy everything across quickly. There we go. Now let's get our API keys. So there we are. So we start with AI instructions. So we want to put that in here. So we'll call this record.getjson. There we go. And under here, we'll just change this to record. We'll change this to record. We'll change this to record ID. Need to update that down here as well. Do, 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 do. And then let's go back a step. This is our OpenAI conversations module. So we want to put that in. There. And here we want to get our OpenAI conversations record. And we want to add record ID. And an integer. Okay, so now if we go on here, we've got our instructions, then we've got our input, and we've got our output. So our input is here. Now we can take this away because we no longer need to tell it it's a AI generated blah blah blah. So let's just actually change that. Yeah, perfect. Let's go and prompt is already in there. Perfect. And now we just want to tell it to put it in the output. So instead of description, we want to say output. All right. And then we will return the output. Actually, no, let's, let's say, da, 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 da. let's return generated text. Okay. So now if we go save, that's worked. So now we want to go over to our modules and fields and go down to our new module and go links and buttons and say, create our first button. So let's say, ask chat GPT. And here we will say, this will be on the view page. And we'd like our button to perform a custom function, but we don't, oh yeah, we do need to write a new function. So here we're just going to write button and then let's get our, our do, 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 open AI conversation. So let's say button ask chat GPT and create. And now in here, we're going to also give it the record ID and we're going to select conversation ID, save. And then here we will go, actually, we don't even need this on a separate line. So we can just go and alone dot. And now here we need our function name. So if we go settings, functions, open AI integration. And then in brackets, we want to give it the record ID. There we go. Okay. So now if we go save and execute. We don't actually have a record, so let's just go save for now. And let's go save. 
And now what we can do is we can go to our conversations. We can create a new one. We can say the instructions. So here we'll say, you are a AI assistant. You will pass the user input to pull out the telephone numbers and email addresses from the input. Okay. And then in the input, we're going to write here, hi, my name is Greg. Please call me on or send an email to I'm just going to put some extra information in here to confuse it. Okay. So let's give this a go. Our name here, we need to give it a bloody name. So let's just call this chat one. Save. Okay. So let's give this a try. Ask chat GPT4. There we go. So it said telephone number and email address. Cool. All right. So what else might we ask it? We can say here we want it to, you will pass the user input to pull out the availability. Let's just say availability and let's see what it says. Greg's availability is on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Isn't that cool? And you can literally do whatever you like with this. Okay, so that's a way that you can implement this into your own system. And that's something you can follow this exact video and immediately be able to implement that into your system. Now, something I have already done for my system, which I can't show you in full because it's, it's a lot more effort and, you know, it's not something I think people can follow around, is this. So I have a widget on my home screen that I have built in to Zoho CRM. So here we can ask it anything we like, just like you would ask ChatGPT a question. So we can ask it, you know, how far away is the moon from Earth? I've made this to look like a iMessenger conversation, you know, like on an iPhone. So what it's doing is it's, you know, the spin is here while it's thinking about it and it's, it's getting the response from Zoho, not from Zoho, sorry, from ChatGPT. And now it gives us our response. And I use this for all sorts of things. And uh, surprisingly, I actually use this for the beginning of our video. So you'll see here, I asked it to write me a YouTube video, it's the script for a YouTube video. And it even gave me the bulk of the code. I did have to make quite a lot of changes to this code as you'll be able to see. So for example, it gave me the wrong URL and it also gave me the wrong format here. You can compare this code if you pause your screen to the code we've actually used in the video and you'll be able to see quite a lot of differences but uh, i just think this is phenomenal and i think there's a lot that can be done with ChatGPT and zoho so if you've got any questions or you'd like me to help you build a integration for your business into ChatGPT, then get in touch and i'll see how i can help you with that i recently helped a client we haven't implemented it yet i'll explain why but for their business, they were looking to have ChatGPT pass some information from their clients and then return some suggestions to the client. Now, it works really well, but the problem is the information that we need to show to their clients is from a database of known information. And ChatGPT is not very good at being accurate when you've got something like that. So for example, if I had a list of makes of car and i said to it you know bmw has a model 3 and a x5 and a xyz whatever and audi has an a6 and an a4 and then we asked chat gpt if the person said i'm looking for a car and and then we gave it some you know descriptions of those cars like you know the x5 is five door four door has a big boot is an suv whatever and then the input is 
tell me all cars which are you know uvs with five four doors or more um it's not very good at going through that list and pulling out exactly the right information so it might tell you that the a4 well, you know audi a4 which is not a suv it might say is a suv so it, it still needs work on that front and there's better ways to pass information when it's, it's from a known database you're better off just doing search algorithms and, and presenting that data back but where this is helpful is in natural language processing so you know taking a big chunk of input from a client and pulling out important information from that you know passing emails helping to speed up the process of reading something back from a client so one thing that i'm currently working on is a way to summarize data so for example we could do that with the button and it could your instruction to the ai could be summarize this information and then Whenever you get a big response from a client in an email, or maybe you have it feeding in from a lead form, you can just say, you know, GPT summary of the lead form is here, and it'll just pull out the pertinent information. And it's quite good at doing that. It, it may not, you know, catch everything 100% of the time, but it'll save you tons of times rather than reading, you know, 3,000 or 6,000 characters every time a client gets in touch with you. Instead, you can read 150 characters which is the chat GPT summary of what the client has said. So loads of potential here, guys. Please like the video. Please subscribe. Share the video. Get in touch. I've had a lot of people recently coming onto my forum and asking questions, which is great. I really like that. So join the forum. I'm going to put all the code up on the forum for today's video. So you can go there and check it out. The link to the forum will be in the description. And I've got some affiliate links in the video description. So please click on those. That helps support the channel and support me, et cetera, et cetera. And yeah, if you need anything, let me know. Thanks a lot. Bye.